So I want to, you know, put this buck 119 through a little bit more. We're going to simulate here, you know, I mean, that right there could be a, a great, uh, even semi-permanent shelter pole. It's a good piece of solid uh, maple right there. So, I mean, you know, this, this knife here, like I was saying, I mean, what the benefit we have with this is, is this grind is, is very high. The geometry is very good for, for slicing, for penetrating. And so where your typical thick Scandinavian ground knife that, that you would use for bushcraft, many times it will back you out of the cut. It's so thick, it gets so thick so quick where many of these heavy hunters, this one in particular, um, they don't. They hold a very nice geometry <clears throat> most of the way up the blade. And then we have this, this nice, uh, thick spine right here. Um, good saber grind. With a fuller, uh, you know, I, I do like the looks of a fuller. Um, many people debate the actual functionality <clears throat> of it. I do believe that it, it can uh, take some weight off the, the blade to add some better balance and that it does uh, add some more strength to the, to the structure, uh, much like an I-beam would. <clears throat> so we'll chop this baby, uh, bring it right here. I like to cut low, or start, start quite low. So as with any of this stuff here, I mean, we're, we're, we're not going to be in a, in a hurry at all. As you can see, this, this tree here does have some girth to it. Many people do like uh, the aspect like this to be able to uh, do this with their with the bushcraft knife. And uh, I guess I don't blame them to a degree. Many times in bushcraft, you uh, might want to roll a bit lighter. And that comes down with, with, with just ease. I could have uh, broken this down much sooner, obviously. There we go. No problem there. Excellent blade. This knife has not been sharpened at all through any of the process since I've been reviewing it. It has not been, uh, it has not been stropped. Okay. And this knife will, will still cut extremely well. And as you saw, I mean, you know, we're not really talking about a big deal here, right? Let me get this in view for you. Now I do hear some people say that they, that they wouldn't ever chop with a six inch blade. Well, I do have to agree um, to a certain point. <clears throat> the point is if it's light stuff like this, okay, uh, chopping, a night's worth of firewood, never. Uh, really ever going through something wrist thick, never. Um, I will baton through it, obviously. Uh, there's no momentum in a six inch blade, especially one designed as a heavy hunter. The heavy hunting knife, you want 
a lot of control out at, out at the tip. So it, it puts more weight back into the handle, into your hand. I'm talking more along the lines of, in, in terms of the, of the chopping, like that. I want to skim this down to, to make a couple Y sticks for, uh, uh, you know, some, some camp cooking, whatever it might be. Overall, the knife works like a champ. Perhaps if I didn't have an ax or anything like that, I would attempt, uh, you know, if, if maybe getting a small baton to make a larger baton. Many times you may have to do that. I might do something very similar to this. Uh, but not much thicker than that and not very often, that's for sure. Um, but I find it'll do any of this stuff far more readily than your thick uh, Scandinavian ground knives. Um, we will continue to have more on this knife. I do have a lot more to say and I have more to show you. I have a couple other knives uh, that I'm going to show you in a tabletop review. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Take care.